Hey everyone and welcome back to Yellow Card Vanguard, where your triggers are yellow and your cards are Vanguard. We just got the news about the English restriction list, and it's mostly positive, so let's run over it together. So to throw us for a loop, the first page of the restriction list was just a carbon copy of the Japanese list. Banning Hamiel, restricting Meep to 1, restricting Percival to 1, and lifting the choice restriction between Percival and Gurgit. Now just a Japanese list would be a mistake. So of course they throw us for a loop and there's a page 2. We see some more hits to Bermuda Triangle and another hit to Shadow Paladin, specifically Luard. For Bermuda, they've done a 3 pick 1 choice restriction between Gutire, Prism Rosa, and Ellie. As for Shadow Paladin, they've added Karon to the 2 pick 1, choice restriction between the main and drag heart to make it a 3 pick 1. I really actually do like the Karn restriction and I'm kind of kicking myself for not thinking about it harder in the previous video, but the hit to Karn does stifle the deck a lot. First of all, Karn was the obvious call off of Leofall, not only making Leofall a free plus 1 to board due to the counter charge, but the Soul Blast as well, being able to pop a great 1 out of Soul to speed up the ward's ritual count. Going first, Leofall would almost always call the Karn for the aforementioned reason, but now there's no obvious choice. Karan in the mid to late game also was a huge role player. Not only was he able to cycle back a drag driver stuck in soul, but provided a not hard once per turn counter charge to get a lot of counter blast for your big turns. One more thing to mention is the lack of Karan leads to a lack of good counter charge and no longer are the days of being able to drag driver call 5 into Morfessa and bat attacks with one counter blast. You gotta make each counter blast worth it now. At the same time, now your opponent has to be wary about giving you more than one counter blast to play with each turn. All in all, a great hit and I'm pleased about it. Good job, Bushy. Next up is the hit to Bermuda. I've got kind of mixed feelings about this one. One of my biggest gripes with Bermuda's strength is how good their generic cards are. Whereas these restrictions were more archetypal. With this restriction, if you want to play Prism, you got to play Pure Prism. And the defensive capabilities of the deck with the hit to Ellie were nerfed, which is obviously good. Will 40k extra shield in the deck matter? I'm not too sure. I'm just still kind of miffed that Prism still gets to play and abuse Lee's a lot for another format is all. Then, adding Kutire to the restriction list was interesting. I don't think Highlander Bermuda is a top tier deck by any means, but perhaps the read was that being able to have the Highlander package with Kutire and the Pearl Sisters keeps Prism able to have that really crazy high roll ceiling where we're just able to keep putting out so much crit pressure every turn and protect the Pearl Sisters in hand with Baird's Bounce. So I appreciate the foresight a lot. And we also did see these kind of lists pop up in BRO, so it's good to deal with them before they become an issue. Now speaking of things before they become an issue, one bad thing was no hit to Grand Blue. I think that if Bermuda and Shadow Paladins did get hit like this and they end up dropping a few tiers and dropping in strength a lot, Grand Blue might have really large upsurgence due to its innate strength and could look to dominate the upcoming meta but at least it will be a breath of fresh air. All in all, a good restriction list. I would have liked to see Bermuda get their wrist slapped a bit harder, but I can see that it was very thought out. In the upcoming format, I can see pure prisms still be very strong, the prism package wasn't hit at all either, and Lizalot and Aqua are still running wild. Bermuda Triangle also isn't any short of great generic grade ones either to fill Ellie's spot. Now the Lord hit might actually knock him down a bit, which is good. We could see some of the other strong decks rise up in power to take its spot. I'm predicting that we still see Prism rise up, but strong decks that were held down by Lord's domination like Vanquisher and Night Rose and now even the new Rukie and also Jewel Knights as well, they might jump up to the occasion here. Let me know in the comments down below or on my Discord what you guys think about the new upcoming English restriction list. Also tell me what your predictions for the upcoming V format will be. Do you expect to see the same with a small twist, or will this shake up the format in a very good direction? Maybe in a very bad direction. In any case, this has been it from me. I'm Token from Yellow Card Vanguard. Toko out.